Thing. Hi, I'm Jerry O'Donnell with Four Angels Messages, and I'm joined here with my daughter. Hi, I'm Rowan. And together we're going to address another child's question. But before we begin, we're going to take a moment in prayer. Our Father, thank you so very much for this opportunity to spend with thee in thy word. And we pray for the Holy Spirit's guidance right now that we may correctly understand thy word and get the answers that we are looking for. And may they be heavenly answers. And I pray that we would see it clearly and may it enter into our hearts. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, Ronald, what's our question today? Who does Proverbs 30, verse 4 refer to? Very good question. Let's turn in our Bibles to Proverbs chapter 30 and read verse 4 to find out what we're referring to. So Proverbs 30, verse 4, and then we're going to go over to Ephesians for the answer. But uh, first we're in Proverbs 30, verse 4. Who hath ascended up into heaven, or descended? Who hath gathered the wind in his fists? Who hath bound the waters in a garment? Who hath established to all the ends of the earth? What is his name, and what is his son's name, if thou canst tell? Lots of questions in that. And uh, to get the answer, let's turn in our Bibles to Ephesians, as I said. Uh, Ephesians chapter 4 is where we're headed. So there's the question. Now the question, or the answer, is what we're in search of. Ephesians chapter 4, and we're going to read several verses, starting in verse 7 uh, to 10. Go ahead. But unto one, every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ. Wherefore he saith, when he ascendeth up on high, he led captivity captive, and gave gifts unto men. Now that he ascended, what is but that he also descended first into our parts of the earth? He that descended is the same also that ascended up far above all heavens, that he might fill all things. So our answer is Jesus Christ. And it, uh, the scriptures is interesting. It talked about his ascension first off, but you cannot ascend unless you descend. So that's why it follows up here with, well, he descended. He came to the, uh, as it referred to, uh, basically the depths of the earth, the lower parts of the earth. And uh, that's not talking about the center of the earth. It is actually talking about the fact that this world was in such sinfulness as never ever uh, before. And at that lowest part of this earth's history is when he arrived and uh, obviously led out the life that the Gospels refer to. And uh, upon uh, reaching about uh, 33 and a half years old, uh, he was crucified, died for our sins, and he rose from the grave and then uh, ascended to the Father. He also came back and spent about 40 days with uh, the disciples. And after the 40th day, uh, he ascended before them on a cloud and was told that, well, guess what? He's coming back again as he departed, so he will when he returns. And uh, we look forward to that. But the direct answer here happens to be the one that descended to us then is none other than Jesus Christ. And may we appreciate all that he has done uh, with that. And uh, uh, thank God that the Father had sent his son. And uh, that's why Proverbs refers to, and what is his son's name? His son's name is Jesus. Thank the Lord. Let's pray. Our Father, thank you so very much for the answer that you've given us. May we appreciate all that heaven has done. You, the Father, have sent your only begotten Son to us 
that we have the possibility of having eternal life and that we would not end up perishing and I thank you that uh, in after descending to this earth that your son had ascended opening up that opportunity for eternal life and may we appreciate it every single day of our lives in Jesus name we pray amen